Nepal, a landlocked country of some 29 million people, is located between the two giant economies, India and China. Due to Nepal's location, Beijing has consistently attempted to expand its influence in the Himalaya nation. In May of 2017, Nepal and China signed a Memorandum of Understanding on the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, under the leadership of the then Prime Minister, Pushpa Kamal Dahal. The bilateral agreement was supposed to bring rapid infrastructural development in the country. Five years have passed since the signing of the BRI, and not a single project has been finalized. Observers say Beijing intends to exploit Nepal's territory to further its expansionist ambitions. The Chinese economy and Chinese uh, political influence in world affairs is increasing day by day. Obviously, being a peripheral state of China or an immediate neighboring state of China, its rising influence would be obviously seen in Nepali economics and politics as well. In early 2019, Nepal proposed nine different projects to be constructed under the Belt and Road Initiative. These included a feasibility study of the Trans-Himalayan Railway connectivity, an extension of a 400 kilowatt electricity transmission line, setting up of a technical university in Nepal, and the construction of new roads, tunnels, and hydroelectricity dams. The rising concerns over financing and transparency have kept these projects in limbo. A number of Chinese nationals, which many believe to be Chinese state agents, have set up their businesses in the capital Kathmandu. They are reportedly engaging in unlawful activities. There has been a rapid surge in criminal networks, fraud, illegal trade, and wildlife smuggling by Chinese nationals in Nepal. This not only poses a significant law and order problem to Nepal, but a security threat to neighboring India as well, as both countries share a 1,087 mile long porous border. China's growing political and economic influence in Nepal has also alarmed the United States. In a bid to counter Beijing's growing influence in the Himalayan nation, the United States and Nepal signed a new development objective agreement in May this year. The United States, through the U.S. Agency for International Development, will provide 659 million USD over a five-year period to support Nepal's goal of graduating to a middle-income country. Although Nepal enjoys good relations with China on the one hand and democracies like the United States and India on the other, Nepal has maintained an implicit policy of working with both sides. However, Nepal now finds itself walking a tightrope with an expansionist China on one side and a friendly India and the United States on the other.